Howdy folks, I am not a weird coffee person, that's definitely more Auntie Susan's department, but uh, I do like to watch a little James Hoffman. He's a, you know, a super nerd. I'd love to watch a super nerd talking about his nerd subject. He's charming, he's English, I mean, what's not to like? A few years ago, we put out a video with a recipe on how to make coffee amaro. I've always wanted to make it, and so today, that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make James Hoffman's coffee amaro. Now, James Hoffman has a whole video on the subject. He's also got uh, all the ingredients and the method written out on his website. I will leave a link to both of those down below, but I am also just gonna show you what I did. I tried to stick with his method and ingredients as closely as I could. I had to make a couple of tiny tweaks. Now this coffee amaro is basically coffee infused bourbon that we're gonna milk wash to clarify. Then we're gonna infuse it with some more bittering agents, uh, herbs and spices. We're gonna strain that then we're just gonna add sugar and a little bit of water, and then it's done. All the infusion's gonna happen in the ISI whipper. If you don't have an ISI whipper, I mean, they're not really crucial to your home bar, but they're pretty great. Let's check it out. We're gonna take 200 grams of bourbon, and we're gonna infuse it in 40 grams of coffee. Uh, with one charge of the ISI whipper. We're gonna let that sit five minutes in the whipper. We're gonna rapidly release the pressure. Then we're gonna put 55 grams of milk into a separate container, pour in our infused bourbon mixture and stir until it curdles. I was a little surprised how easily it curdled. Usually when I milk wash things, you have to add acid to make the milk curdle, but I guess the coffee and alcohol was enough to curdle it. Now normally when I'm milk washing, I would just pour the curd straight into the paper filter, but James Hoffman has you strain out the curd separately, so that's what I did. Now this took quite a while to strain. He says that his method only takes half an hour to make this tomorrow, but I found this part of the straining process took a whole half hour all by itself. So in the meantime, I got my bittering agents ready. We got dried orange peel, gentian root, uh, cassia bark. I'm using cassia chips because I don't have cassia bark. Some grated nutmeg, one allspice berry, and about half a gram of vanilla pod. Now when I grated this nutmeg, it wasn't registering on my scale. I think I may have used too much nutmeg, but we'll see how it tastes. So once that's all strained, we're gonna put it back in the ISI whipper with all the herbs and spices. Just gotta put the vanilla in as well. We're gonna use two cartridges on this infusion. One is just gonna be a real quick one. Pressurize and then immediately release. And then put in another canister and let it sit five minutes. After that five minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and strain it through a coffee filter We're gonna add 60 grams of sugar. He used a two to one Demerara sugar, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my regular one and a half to one uh, Turbinado Gom sugar. We're just gonna add 25 grams of water, cause that's what he did. Bottle it up and there you have it. That 30 minute estimate was a bit ambitious. It took me probably more like an hour or an hour and a half. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, we did it. Let's see how this tastes, shall we? I mean, it's got a nice coffee smell. It's got a sweet sugary smell. Um, I'm definitely getting some of that nutmeg as well. It's a very strong coffee flavor, a little bit bitter mm. um, from the coffee again, but a lot of nutmeg. I think I put too much nutmeg in there. When I was grating it, it didn't weigh anything and I couldn't, I was supposed to get half a gram. I think I must've gotten more than half a gram, but next time if I do this again, don't go crazy on the nutmeg. Uh, I think that's my first lesson, but otherwise it's a lovely little Amaro drink. I, I'm trying to detect the gentian because I feel like this is mostly like bitter, like coffee is bitter and not so much bitter like gentian is bitter. 
where you do get a hint of that vanilla, just a little tiny mm. bit citrusy from that bitter orange peel. I mean, it's pretty well balanced actually. I think except for the maybe a little bit too much uh, nutmeg, I think this is pretty delicious. Now, James Hoffman recommends drinking it like this on ice with a pinch of salt um, or with a quality tonic. But of course, you know me, I'm definitely gonna make an Amaro latte. Let's give it a try. It's nice and foamy. I really like the look of this one. Uh, nice big thick bubbles. Yeah, Got a lot of that nutmeg. Um, when it's hot, a lot more nutmeg, but um, pretty good. A lot more vanilla as well, actually. This, like coffee and milk, of course, right? This is, this is delicious. Yeah, this is, this is really good. Like a hot drink with nutmeg on top is kind of awesome and this has the nutmeg already in it, and it's hot, and it's milk, and it's coffee, and it's bourbon. Yeah, this is this is good. All right, hopefully that was fun and or informative. If you decide to make this a coffee tomorrow, let me know down in the comments. And also, do you watch James Hoffman? Because that guy is like a super nerd, and you know, very very charming English person. So that's all I've got. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.